Hi there and welcome to Crypto's Genie. We have a brand new topic for you today. Bitcoin has had a rocky start to the year. But crypto experts like Edward Moyer remain optimistic. The experts say that BTC will hit $100,000. And this is just a matter of time. The volatility of the crypto market suggests that a positive spike for Bitcoin could happen soon. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video as we bring you the latest on Bitcoin. If you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you wouldn't miss out on new updates in the world of crypto investing. Before we begin, a quick recap. The crypto market as a whole is going down. Bitcoin has currently been on a downward trend for the past day. The coin's price stands at $21,106 at the time of this recording. Bitcoin's price held steady on Friday after rallying more than 10% over the last week. Crypto expert Edward Moya says Bitcoin is showing some signs of stabilizing, but the market may not be out of the danger zone yet. Bitcoin has fallen below $20,000 several times in recent weeks. The majority of crypto watchers are still awaiting further weakness and possible retest of the June lows. The latest crypto market crash in June was spurred by momentary de-risking from Wall Street as many investors are feeling pessimistic about the economy amid surging inflation, a shaky stock market, and rising interest rates. The crypto market has increasingly tracked the stock market in recent months, which makes it even more intertwined with global economic factors. In addition to macroeconomic factors, Martin Gies Boak, head of blockchain and crypto research at Uphold, says investors fear the crypto industry's long-term viability after several major crypto players halted withdrawals, cut jobs, and tried to stem losses in recent weeks. However, crypto prices are much more vulnerable to factors contributing to the difficult economic situation than the pullback of the crypto ecosystem. He says, the market remains vulnerable and on edge, not necessarily by threats from more crypto projects going bust, but from the difficult economic situation we are facing right now," he spoke says. In other words, the price of Bitcoin depends more on the supply of gas to Germany as it does in any crypto-related news or metric. With no end in sight, the war inflation and shifting monetary policy in the US will likely continue to drive more volatility in the coming weeks and months. But there are other important factors that could impact the price of BTC. Here are the four most important factors. Number 1. Regulation Federal officials have made it clear in recent months they are paying attention to crypto. Industry professionals have recently alluded to what crypto insiders perceive as hawkish, federal regulation being one key driver for Bitcoin's lagging price. In a recent Coindesk First Mover interview, Seth Jins, a coin fund managing partner, said the Fed moved to a hawkish position on crypto regulation just as Omicron started to tick up in the US, which could have increased doubt in crypto as a viable asset, resulting in January's bearish sentiments. Crypto regulation brings up a lot of unanswered questions. President Joe Biden recently signed an infrastructure bill requiring all crypto exchanges to notify the IRS of their transactions. Similarly, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recently said stablecoins, a type of crypto linked to the value of the US dollar, should be subject to federal oversight. The conversation on regulatory policies is patchy, said an industry white paper published by Flourish, a fintech platform designed for investment advisors. With a relatively new asset class like cryptocurrency, any new regulation has potential to impact value. When China banned crypto in September 2021, for instance, investors saw the price of Bitcoin drop, though it has since risen and resumed its usual volatility. Even though there is now about a decade of precedent for Bitcoin, the Securities and Exchange Commission is taking all decisions on a case-by-case -base basis in what experts refer to as its crawl, walk, run strategy toward mainstream crypto adoption. Regulation has kind of evolved over the last five years, says Ben Cruikshank, head of Flourish. Regulators can always change their mind. Number 2. Scarcity there are only 18 to 19 million bitcoins currently in circulation, and minting will stop at 21 million. Industry experts consistently point to this built in scarcity as a big part of cryptocurrency's appeal. 
There's a fixed supply, but increasing demand, says Alexis Johnson, president of the blockchain public relations and events company Lightnode Media. Other experts point out Bitcoin has value because people give it value. That's really why everybody's buying. Because of this psychological aspect, says Nelson Merchant, Johnson's light node media co-founder, that can make it difficult for the average consumer to discern whether Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are legitimate. The whole concept of supply and demand only works when people want something scarce. Even if it previously didn't exist, it actually does almost kind of seem like a scam. Merchant says about Bitcoin's origins, Though he says he's seen his crypto holdings reach millions of times since he began investing in 2017, he's also seen them disappear in an instant. I'm a big believer that if it's not in cash, you don't really have that money because in crypto, anything can drop dramatically overnight, Merchant says. This is why certified financial planners suggest only allocating 1% to 5% of your portfolio of the crypto to protect your money from the volatility. Number 3. Mining Cycles Another major influence on Bitcoin's price is a cycle known as having. It's complicated and algorithmic in nature. But in essence, having is a step in the Bitcoin mining process that results in the reward for mining Bitcoin transactions getting cut in half. Having influences the rate at which new coins enter circulation, which can impact the value of existing Bitcoin holdings. Historically, halvings have correlated with boom and bust cycles. Some experts try to predict these cycles down to the day after a halving event concludes. Number 4. Mainstream Adoption One of the main factors driving the price increase of Bitcoin is the rate at which new consumers are buying and exploring cryptocurrency, says Waltman. Crypto technology is being adopted at a faster rate than humans first adopted internet technology, she says. Assuming it continues, the compounding acceleration of new adoption could keep pushing the value of Bitcoin higher and higher. Bitcoin adoption has been increasing at an annual rate of 113%, according to data from the digital asset management firm CoinShares. Meanwhile, people adopted the internet at a slower rate of 63%. If people warm up to Bitcoin at a comparable rate to that of the internet's early days or faster, the report makes the case that there will be 1 billion users by 2024 and 4 billion users by 2030. Coindesk reported last month the number of new wallets worldwide increased 45% from January 2020 to January 2021, to an estimated 66 million. Popular crypto exchange Coinbase says it has now over 73 million worldwide users while fellow exchange Gemini recently released its State of U.S. Crypto Report, which found 21.2 million Americans own cryptocurrency of some kind. Now every dark could has a silver lining. The same is true for BTC. Bullish experts are re-evaluating the crypto industry altogether as major corporations like Nike and other big brands are looking at ways to monetize their products in the digital metaverse. The rise of metaverse games, worlds, products, and experiences is increasing the popularity of altcoins, which has changed investors' sentiments about Bitcoin. Many experts are hesitant to predict a number and a date, but rather point to the trend of Bitcoin increasing its value over time. Investors should expect a pretty sustainable rise in Bitcoin's long-term value driven by organic market movement, with the $100,000 threshold in near sight. Predicted Jurian Timmer, Director of Global Macro at Fidelity Investments, last October. What I expect from Bitcoin is volatility, in the short term and growth. In the long term, says Kaida Daniel, founder of Investiva and author of Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. Robert Breedlow, founder and CEO, Parallax Digital predicts that BTC could reach $12.5 million by 2031. The reason being that inflation after COVID-19 will drive interest in cryptocurrency. This will push the value of Bitcoin up higher than previous projections estimated. Big financial institutions have made their own predictions as well, with JP Morgan predicting a long-term high of $146,000 and Bloomberg predicting it could hit $400,000 if the currency climbs at rates comparable to the past. Despite the volatility and recent slumping price, Many experts still say Bitcoin is on its way to passing the $100,000 mark, though with varying opinions on exactly when that will happen. 
and a recent study by Deutsche Bank found that about a quarter of Bitcoin investors believe Bitcoin prices will be over $110,000 in five years. Bitcoin has only been above $45,000 for a few short stretches over the past six months. The coin hasn't been above $50,000 since December 25, 2021. But Bitcoin is still more than twice as valuable as it was just a couple years ago. That's all of our toss and price prediction we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed watching our latest video. While you are still here, please go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen. Also check out our website and Twitter, links in description. Thank you for watching.